What is going on everybody? Danny back here for another reaction video for guys, man. Today we're gonna be checking out uh, another video by Wrestling Flashback, man. 20 minutes of WWE promo bloopers, man. So this should be good. Uh, there's been a lot of memorable ones over the years. Uh, one that I can really distinctly remember was, I don't think it was WWE, but it was WCW or NWA. Way back in the day when uh, Booker T uh, was feuding with Hulk Hogan and he called him the N-word, man, on live national television. And that, you know, that tends to be the clip that circulates social media. It's, you know, more often than not, people, you know, seem to uh, laugh about and watch. And, you know, it went from a very uh, bad thing to a very funny thing over the years. I'm looking forward to this. Uh, if you guys like videos like this, you don't know what to do. Make sure you guys smash subscribe button with the notification button turned on. Make sure you guys check out my social media accounts. Links are in the description. And uh, I'm looking forward to this, man. Check this out. It's 20 minutes long, bro. So this might be a... A lengthy video, but I, th I feel like it'll be worth it. One, two, this is on. Pretty much every wrestler has to be comfortable speaking, but like in real life, sometimes words and sentences get jumbled up as we say Third angle. <laughs> you must be sleeping under a rock or something. You don't understand what's happening here. However, wrestlers are held to a that. high standard since they cut live promos every week. What is a mustache? I don't have one. Of all these people here, I have the best mustache of them all. Meaning whenever they mess up, it's there for all to see. Saunders reign as the WWF champion is going to be just like... We'll be looking at various types of examples today as we highlight a host of wrestling mic mishaps. I'm one of the biggest legends and stars ever in this... God! Ugh. And your teeth are like too tight too, Billy! Our truth is famous for confusing names and match types, but that's all just a part of his gimmick. Well, except uh, for one major blender. These next wrestlers also screwed up for real. Lance Storm. WrestleMania 30, right here in the Silver Dome. Good to be back here at the Silver Dome. <laughs> Such as by mistaking people's names. I will continue with Brock Cena. I will continue with Brock Lesnar. What do you think of Stone Cold? And Vince, man, Cold Stone is my man. He won. Winner of that match will go on to face Drew McIntyre, Drew McIntyre for the WWE Championship. You know, I could stoop to John Lena, John Cena's low level. I'm finishing Kane. I'm finishing C Cena off. This is the seven. I'm sorry, the Sammy and Kevin show. Congratulations on being on Team Daddy, Johnny. Mixing up match types. And I enter the money. I'm sorry. This guy got me so flustered right now. Brian, I'm even saying that, the man. wrong company letters. You're no longer the new superstar, next breakout star for WWF anymore. Not gonna deny you the opportunity to be WWF champion. This might be your last chance at the WWF championship. Or WWE well, championship. I mean, WWF, I'm not that old, buddy, but also... <laughs> On top of names and match types, with so many pay-per-view events taking place each year, it can be Brian quite hard to WWF, keep track of man. We I miss it. you. From the Summerfest. He'll be banned from SummerSlam is what you're saying. SummerSlam. I'm slammed out. Dean Ambrose's and Roman Reigns' partner at Hell in the Cell. Say that Crown Jewel was an absolute success. Just kidding. Class at the castle was. Booking a match for the total package like Super Bowl. Super Let's Scary. What is it? I don't even know what it's called. What is it called? They wanted to manipulate you. For what you did to them at WrestleMania 21 or WrestleMania 31. And just like the 16 that come before you at, Wrestle tw at WrestleMania 25. Yeah, Wrestle those feel cool. a lot better and you want to challenge for this title at SummerSlam? No, wait, no. Royal Rumble, that's a lot sooner. Yeah. It's not just names and match types wrestlers mess up, however. Simple words have been said wrong. Bro, man. So this is what a sold out Bar's case looks like. It's, it's Barclays. Barclays. Real good, always making a joke out of everything. Misplays. We want the gold, sucker! Hulk Hogan, we coming for you, nigga! Ah, uh, there I we go! Out for the record. And use in the wrong context. This is where the big boys play, huh? Look at the adjective. Play. We ain't here to play. Let's now highlight some examples. Weapons are not only welcomed, they're allowed. And I can't think of a better place than now. Than... I am the best wrestler Mexican! You're gonna go to hit me and I'm gonna miss. You're gonna miss. I'm gonna hit you. And that's huh. why I kicked your leg out of your leg. 
tuck his legs, tail between his legs. I don't know how the hell I'm going to tuck my legs between my legs, but what I should do... I'm about to come out here. I'm already out here. And make a declaration. <laughs> she is every bit the businessman, businesswoman. And our men are tougher. Our Bro, beer tastes better. Buying all you animals cheesecake. Bro, and it's even better than the fact that there's captions at the at the at the bottom of the video that makes it 10 times better bro or no was it cheese steak is it cheesecake or cheese steak congratulations daniel on a hard fart victory more than five four five former world heavyweight champions the patriots lost Wait, why did that have an effect on you Patriots. oh won. my god bro. see as managing as managing manager of general excuse me as managing, said, wants to excuse me, as managing supervisor. And I earned the right to do that by winning the Rumble, Royal Rumble. You think I'm the only one that bakes, bro? So six weeks before you face, six days before you face Randy Orton at SummerSlam. E-M-M-E-N-T-L Edmonton! Wow! And starting this moment from now... From this moment on, this will be the moment starting now. AJ, I could have ended your career last night, but I, not last night, last week! I'm so mad I said last night! After what you two Muppets pulled last week, cost us the rag, raw, ta raw tag team championship, I can't even get it out because I'm disgusted looking at your ugly mush. Hey, Scott Steiner was certainly a physical beast in the ring, although Brad perhaps his greatest hilarious. battles came not against his opponents in the squared circle, but rather versus the microphone. Bro, I just like Triple H and him had that like, uh, the biggest that. ass kissing, back, back stabbing, butt sucking bastard. We all know math was one of Scott's strongest subjects. Then you take my 75% chance of winning if we used to go one on one and then add 66 and two thirds percent. However, he seemed to have greater difficulties with the English language. Man, you ain't big pop. I'm a big bad booty daddy in the non stop. Now listen, English. It's fair to say, Big Papa Pump <laughs> was hooked up on Steiner Phonics. We will tag team chasing. Easy. What chance you have? You have no chance, but you had a chance is you can run lickety split. But don't hate on me, small Joe. Hate your parents because they gave you an extra fat soul, fat cell, and your X and Y hamburger with extra cheese, extra maize, and extra ketchup. There's some rednecks out in the crowd who are fat, just like you, Joe, who wants you them to be me. Members of the mortal. That's right. It's gonna be gonna be my, gonna be my first match back. It's gonna be just like my last match. Steiner was a bit of a marble mouth to say the least, but he's not the only one, Bro, as plenty of wrestlers have got their wires crossed when speaking. I've been dealing with delusional. D d I sound like Hideo trying to speak English. Me as WWE Universe set, set resource. Whoa! You're so smart too, because English is your second language. That's Everyone true. forgets that. Whether they're stuttering and stumbling. I don't know what 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 you, what, what you expect from me, Vince. Do on the biggest stage of the of WrestleMania, the biggest match of all time. The Rock, the People's Champ, the Great One, the Rock, Dwayne Johnson, Dwayne Johnson, the Rock. He was stumbling on his words like he was left out in the middle of winter. Dwayne, R R Rock, Rock. Same person. Or putting a word in the wrong place and Stay then long. trying to backtrack. Since I was 15 years old, British Bulldog. Alex Wright, you think you can beat the British Bulldog? It's wrong. If you want a chance of me, come on and take a piece of me. Sometimes it's hard not to get your tongue the in the fuck a twist. did he just say? Compare man? to California, compare it. It's like a fine cuisine. cuisine. Now we're the suicide bronze. And you know what we do? We kick booty. Tell them prime time. Let me tell you something, boys. Oh I my I god, look bro. At these look at Edgy Christian, man. Guys, to use that term loosely. You need to tell me in front of the WWE universe, universe that you respect me. What? To take the longest running wrestling episode. Well, let me get this right. Let's go for uh, the third time. I will definitely eliminate you from the squared circle in the professional wrestling career from now on. You saw WCW wrestlers. This is insane, man.
Like, it's very rare that you see this. You know what I mean? Because these guys are, like, trained to do this. And, like, you know, especially, like, a lot of, like, the big time names, they don't necessarily follow, like, too much of a script. Like, they have bullet points and stuff like that. But it's it's insane seeing guys like Lex Luger and Hulk Hogan and uh, Bill Goldberg and fucking Scott Steiner and, you know, Roman Reigns, John Cena, uh, Teddy Long, Undertaker, fucking it's just all these massive names in the pro wrestling space mess up like that you know what i mean it almost bring it almost humanizes them a little bit well friend and foe the lexus the lexus lark the narcissus lex luger i'm gonna go do it right now i've had it i'm so excited ladies and gentlemen of the wwe WWE universe i'm here right now to be the first man to declare there is nothing and i mean nothing more dangerous than me with a Something on my shoulder. We hate to include another Hall of Famer, but the hardcore legend Mick Foley has fallen victim to his fair share of mic mishaps in the past. Who's Mick the Foley? smartest guy you know? I mean, he came up with the Ron Simmons what gimmick? Who? They were most frequent during Mick's time as Raw General Manager in 2016. Oh, wow, bro. The dog in the fight, but the fight of this do- size of the bro. Fight look at that fucking massive beard, man. For the WWE. Universal Championship. If you're gonna ban anybody, you should be banning Chris Jericho from ringside for tonight's match. He, 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 he. Foley had trouble remembering the dialogue he was scripted to say, to the point where on a few occasions Mick needed help from others to get him back on track. What? A five alarm fire. Hold on a second. And I walked over to Marty, the cameraman, and I went. Marty, I have no idea what I'm going to say. <laughs> Foley even messed up his famous cheap pop line when Raw GM. Right here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah. We're not in Pittsburgh, but regardless. Let's pretend we're in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Right here for a in Columbus, Ohio. Then in the weeks that followed, Mick made light of the botch by writing the name of each city he was in on his hand. Right here in Jackson. Right here in Tampa, Florida. We need a marquee matchup right here in Cleveland, Ohio. From the people right here in Chicago, Illinois. Foley wasn't alone when it came to forgetting his dialogue. In the scripted (laughs) promo era especially, it was common to see talent forget what they were meant to say. I'm here to stay and make make a a, uh, a good good lucha lucha thing. And not only... An inanimate, uh, inanimate object. Hey, shut up! Shut your mouth! It was unsurprising to see so many struggling to remember scripted material, partly due to the fact WWE often chopped and changed formats right up until bell time. Also, the lengthy verbiage. That is true, bro. I didn't even put that. I didn't even put two and two together, man. That is, that is one hundred percent true. When Vince McMahon was running creative, he would like up until the last split second, like the last five minutes, like five minutes before showtime, like he would rip the script up. And like, so you'd be practicing like your, your lines or your dialogue or your promo all day long, just the last minute have it changed. You know what I mean? So you can't really put this on like the performers as much as like upper management. Natural. Suffering succotash, son. It was not easy to say. Little old Roman, he climbed that beanstalk. And do would you like to know what he found? You got to do something about it. You got to do something here tonight. Listen, you guys need to do this. Give me what I want. You're going to give me what I want. Give me what I want. Give me what I want. Text. That the best you got? That will die when I step into those four ropes. Three ropes. Four sides. To the WWE. <laughs> uh, oh, here we go. And if you don't shut up, I'm gonna make you look like Ellsworth. You need to be quiet or you're gonna start looking like Ellsworth. Dial 86946. And vote for your Oh my god, I remember this, man. Do her name. I remember oh, this. You can get it on WWW. 
www.eshop.com. Next, we're going to look at times where words didn't come out as intended, courtesy of suspect oh, phrasing wow. and metaphors that left fans groaning hard. There's one part of our okay, bodies that that's soft, and it ain't soft all the time. Me, Big E, and, and me, Big D. <laughs> well, you're not going to bust a nut anytime we're in the ring. What if it was the other side? What if it was me? Bro, Taking this is wild. What if it was me? We're wrestlers in a wrestling ring. Let's just freaking wrestle. Chris Kelly, I tell you what. Oh when I get God, my man, hands on cat. you, I'm going to eat your ass like a pot of collard greens, baby. Shawn Michaels, you can hide behind that commissioner's stuff just so long until I bro, look how jerk young a Billy knock Dunlap, in your bro. ass. Because I'm going to have to apologize ahead of time. Because I'm going to stretch his ass like it's never been stretched before. You're not bilingual? There's a lot of bi things bro, that's I wild, am, but man. lingual is not one of them. Hey, wait a minute. Did I just mean to say that? I don't think you did, but... Well, even when I was a little teeny holster, there were a few things that turned me on, dudes. But in the twilight of Hulk Hogan's career, my kids turned me on. I am sick and tired of playing around with kids. I'm here to get it on with the big boys. You're a boy in a man's world, and I'm a man who loves to play with boys. <laughs> sure, wrestling has had plenty of intentional raunchy moments, but these accidental ones were often just as funny. Now, Tully Blanchard, I want you, and I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna have you. I'm gonna get to touch your body. And if you don't think I'm big enough, brother, and you grab a hold of me, and you'll know that I'm growing, my man. Brutus the Barber, take a look at this. Brutus, oh this my is God, incredible. Brutus the Barber BK. Come Tuesday. I love that idea. Oh my God. Bob you might have saw it coming tonight, but come Tuesday, I'm going to come on you like nobody's ever come on you before. Just you and I getting it on like two men should do. 301, 512, I don't Rose care. Him. You come in my face, I'm going to fight you. Seth Rollins, I'm coming for you, boy. And I'm coming hard. I'm going to ride Conan hard. Woo! And I'm not about to lay down on my back and let someone cover me. I thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> the main priority is, is to get the body in the proper position for the strapation dudes. After I beat you and satisfy all the Hulkamaniacs, I'm going to get off by cranking your knob just a little beyond the breaking point. <laughs> We've got one more for the Mike Mishap Hall of Fame. None other than Psycho Sid. Oh my God, it's quite Psycho being Sid. that Psycho was spelt wrong remember given how Sid liked to speak. How many, of you guys, how many of you guys remember the spot where uh, Psycho Sid... He jumped out the middle rope and fucking completely shattered his leg. That's a very that's a very notorious spot. It's on a lot of compilations. Is, is to get the body in the proper position for the strapation dudes. The strapation dudes. the Hulkamaniacs. I'm going to get off by cranking your knob just a little beyond the breaking point. We've got one more for the Mike Mishap Hall of Psycho Fame. Sid. None other than Psycho Dina. Sid. And it's quite fitting that Psycho was spelt wrong given how Sid liked to speak. And your people, your pupils went in and out and couldn't focus. While he was without question one of the most menacing wrestlers we've ever seen, he was also one of the craziest. And if you've heard some of his promos, then you know why. I expect there's going to be a barn burner. No, shut up, you fat, bow a little oaf. Sid gave it his best shot, but words just never came out the way he hoped. You're only half the man that I am, and I have half the brain that you do. And it's my belt. As fans, we weren't sure whether to laugh or be scared. Biggest of the of the, of the world. Come back in the wrestling world wrestling federation, cause you have to face me, Brit man. Hit man. Uh, hit all man. the skeptics and all the people have a little bit. Of, let me do this again. No, it's live, pal. I'm sorry. The greatest lion of ever of all time. Yeah. Sid's blunders were poor, but none were deemed bad enough to be edited out of future broadcasts like the ones we're about to feature. These examples range from intentional swearing, slips of the tongue, and accidental botches. All of which WWE uh, were keen I'm to either enjoy this, or man. completely scrub from their network. Definitely not PG. Yeah, cool, if you know what's good for you, The Rock. Must be puberty, because 90... 
<laughs> if you actually right. think that I was just the right gay guy at the right place at the raw at the right time, and I beat I beat Brock Lesnar for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Oh, sever our friendship. All that. F Sorry. Yeah, PG. Uh, Bleep me, please. Bleep. Bleep. Hey, We're gonna watch it again, again Montez. What a mess up! What a fucking mess up! Uh, a good life. The kids for it. I have one last opportunity. Oh, Let's go. Oh. Lastly, we'll observe a few quite literal mic mishaps, whereby the equipment malfunctioned and stopped working altogether. Ah. Uh. We're having some audio issues here on Fortune Live TV. Well, no, guys, I think what happened is uh, Ray putting people through tables. Just like. Let's get a hold of the new mic. Let's get him. There we go. And you just made the biggest mistake. I like hope. And you put all the sexy holes on the line. But the fact I is. I can't hear a word you're saying, Dave. I'm sorry. There's a microphone right behind you. But on Check one, two. Is the microphone on? It's always quite amusing whenever it happens. And is often something the rest is. Like uh, Sam Punk, man, with the megaphone. Having problems with his mic? That was a ten thousand dollar microphone. Ten thousand. Frankly, gentlemen, I, for the love of, c it's a billion dollar company, and we can't get a mic that works. Of a bed. It's about time you did something right now. Live TV is awesome. Here's Stephanie. Live TV is you awesome. You better speak up, old man. Start of the end. <laughs> you can't even get the mic to work. I mean, come on. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to Damn, check out bro. a similar video you can't even get the on mic 10 to commentator work, and announce some mic mishaps. Hope you have a great day. Bro, this is a pretty funny video, man. I'm not even going to lie. Pretty funny video, man. That was... 20 minutes of WWE uh, promo bloopers, man. I, I love watching videos like this because it shows, you know, it has a sense of realism too. you know, the overall sport of professional wrestling. Because obviously everybody knows pro wrestling is scripted. It's it's, it's pretty much a work when it's not, uh, you know, until, it, or until it's not. See, I'm fucking up right now. You know what I mean? But it adds a sense of realism. You know what I mean? And like I said, a lot of the time, especially, you know, a couple years ago, when Vince McMahon, you know, was in charge of creative, he had a habit, and, you know, let's talk to anybody that has, you know, worked with him or anything that watches, like, shoot interviews or watch interviews or whatever that, you know, what it was like for people to work under the tutelage of uh, Vince McMahon. Up until five minutes before showtime, he would rip up the script, so you'd be remembering your lines and, you know, reciting your lines all day, like, whatever you're going to say in your promo to build up to whatever feud you're in. You know, it'd be five minutes before showtime, and he'd be tearing up the script or whatever, so... Uh, great, great stuff, man. Great video. Uh, wrestling flashback, man. Make sure you guys check them out. Link will be in the description if you guys want to check this video out without my commentary. Much appreciated, man. Road to 1,100 subscribers, man. Make sure you guys smash the subscribe button with the notification bell turned on. Check out my social media accounts. Links are in the description. See you guys next time.